Hello comrades, brothers and sisters. Uh, my name is Michael Tröpsing. I'm the International Secretary of the Revolutionary Communist International Tennessee, uh, CIT. Uh, today we are here in Vienna. Uh, we are about half an hour or so before the beginning of a large demonstration organized by the trade unions. Uh, there will be such kind of demonstrations in all uh, capital, regional capital cities of Austria. And the trade unions say, and most probably correctly, that they expect tens of thousands of, of people to participate in this demonstration. We are here uh, to uh, show our uh, solidarity, to uh, argue for a revolutionary socialist perspective. Um, we will uh, distribute a uh, paper calling to um, enlarge, to expand, to escalate the struggle. Uh, so that we do not have only one-day demonstrations, one-day strikes, but that uh, we move forward to a general strike, so that the whole of the country uh, shuts down and that we can put sufficient pressure on the bosses and on the uh, bourgeois government. We say that such a struggle must, uh, must have the goal these governments are centrally responsible for the price rises, for the policy which has, been, which has contributed to the drastic uh, escalation of the prices, uh, the lockdown policy during the Covid counter-revolution period, uh, the policy, policy of sanctions, etc. Et we say such a struggle must also have uh, not only economic demands, which are crucial, price caps, uh, the expropriation of the energy uh, corporations, but in addition to such economic demands, it must also have a clear political uh, program because the current crisis, the food and energy crisis, is closely intervened, closely uh, connected, interwoven with the uh, with important political events. Most importantly, the Ukraine war uh, and the Great Power rivalry. We, as the RCIT, we say that. Uh, we must fight in the defense of the Ukrainian people against uh, the invasion by Putin's army. And at the same time, no support for any imperialist power, neither of NATO nor Russia, down with all imperialist powers. I think such a political perspective, perspective is uh, crucial for socialists to argue for, um, because otherwise such protests might become confused, might be lim wrongly limited only to economic demands, or become confused with a uh, Putinista pro-Russian social imperialist perspective. This is not what we want. We hope that this struggle will not be limited only to one country, but we see already in the whole of Europe strikes in Britain, in France, in other countries. It's crucial to unite these struggles, to have an international response, an international fight back against the bosses, against the bourgeois governments, which try to utilize the food and energy crisis in order to push down our uh, living uh, wage, and this must not happen. Thanks a lot. Forward in a struggle for socialist revolution.